What's going on guys, welcome back to another one of my videos on today, this is episode 8 of the Leeds United Korea we're getting through some episodes now and we are into the month of March, so there is just 3 more months of football to play uh, in this season and there's still a lot to play for, we're still fighting relegation, obviously the title race is still up for grabs for those involved, uh, in Spurs is one of those teams involved as you can see, um, when I show you the table, they are in second place, just a point behind Man City, so they're very much in a title race, but uh, Man City probably just too strong for them. Well, I reckon Man City will go on and win this league. Um, the race for Europa League is very much um, open as well. Chelsea, Newcastle, United, West Ham as well. Uh, all the way down to 11th, really, 11th, maybe even 12th, um, are still in with a shout of getting Europa League. Uh, we're probably out of that. The we we're only really fighting the teams below us. I reckon we're six points ahead of the relegation zone. So hopefully we're clear of relegation, but nothing's guaranteed at this point. Obviously, still 11 games to be played. So we've got three more in this episode. We've got Spurs, and then we have Fulham and Wolves. So hopefully we can get up. We can get three or four points out of this uh, and push on a little bit further towards safety so we're going to get into this game against Spurs we're going to go change the team around so I'll go change the team around obviously Holgate getting that red card last time out against Leicester means he'll have to come out and so I'll go change the team and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it so the two changes I'm going to make is Somerville's coming on to the right for Harrison and then that change at centre-back Cooper is going to start ahead of the suspended Holgate with Lorente coming onto the bench ahead of him. Uh, and they're the only two changes we're going to make, so hopefully we can get a positive result here against Spurs. It'll be difficult. They did knock us out of the FA Cup 3-2 uh, at Ellen Road, of course, earlier in the year. Uh, but hopefully this time will be much different. So we'll go and get into the game and I'll see you at the first highlight. Oh, and that's a great strike early on by Son. Six minutes in, looking for his 19th goal of the season. Not to be denied by Melier. Son glides past Somerville. Oh, we can't get a tackle in. It's going to be another corner. Good save, Melier. Out to Ben Tanker. Kane. Chance. We've got to get it clear, and we do. Doherty. Is he playing on the at right back? I don't know. Maybe they're playing a five back. Son, good save. Melier again. We've had to rely on our French goalkeeper. He's one on one. Aronson strikes the post. Oh, that so nearly should have been the opener for us. No, no, you can't send him off. You cannot send Junior Firpo off for that. No, no. Uh, he's come from behind, but that... No. Referee, that's a harsh call, that is. And that's another red card. I think that's our second red card in two games now. And Spurs will have a chance just before half-time. Oh, come on. Sinistero wins it back after half-time. Bamford. Goes in field. we got a chance. Oh, it's an absolutely... World class block by I think it's Tanganga number six. It may be someone else, but I think it's Tanganga. What a world class block that is as Richarlison comes on for Kulisevsky. Oh, they got PSG. It'll be a Champions League knockout round, you would have thought. Here comes Spurs. Good save, Melier. Oh, Jed Spence is there to prevent a counter attack and Kane. Oh, just wide from Harry Kane. Harrison comes on for Sinistera. That was a chance for Spurs to take the lead. Goes wide. Oh, there's a chance for Spurs. Great save, Melier. One-handed. He saved it behind him. That is some reflexes there. And Spurs denied. Right, I'm going to stay on commentary for the last few minutes here. But we are going to make a change. And Christensen's going to come off for Ailing. I don't know when the next time the ball's going to go out of play though. That's the thing. Could there be a late twist to the tail? Or will we take... Which is a good point. Considering we're down to 10 men. It would be a good point if we could take it. 
switch it over to Christensen not off the pitch yet Somerville will turn back will whip it in no he won't it's cut out by Perisic two minutes added time Spurs running out of time but they are bringing it forward Richarlison Spence referee where's the whistle good challenge Christensen that is full time Leeds United at Ellen Road hold on and could have been more but we hold on for what is a very good point against a team challenging for the title so I'm very pleased with that we very nearly got a what would have been a draw in the FA Cup against them but for a late goal by by whoever it was uh, Son not being the greatest today four shots no goals so that's disappointing for him and it finishes 0-0 so it's a clean sheet against a very good team so we'll take that you know right so we're back in the main menu but just before we sim any further we have got some scouting reports to get through so I will go and have a look and I will come back to you if there is anyone decent so unfortunately there was no one decent really from that scout report so we haven't signed anyone up to the youth academy so there's just the two guys that we got from last month in there now um as we approach the next game which is against fulham they sit two places below us and three points below us so this is an important game in terms of relegation a win for either side would see the other one would see them pull away from relegation so it's a big game so we'll see what we can do and I'll go show you the team we're going to put out. So obviously as a result of Furpo's red card in the last game, it means we're left with a dilemma at left back. It's whether we play, we move a right back over to left back or we play held. And I'm not really thinking either of them. So Strike can play a left back. We've seen him play as a left back for Leeds in his time. So we're going to put him there, see how he does today and Cooper's going to step in at centre-back. In fact, what I'll do, I'll move them over like that, so Cooper's at left centre-back. Uh, so that's the only change for this game, and I'll see you in there at the first highlight. As they come forward here, Vinicius to whoever that is, Andreas Pereira. We've lost it. Vinicius ahead of Mitrovic for this one. The shot is blocked, and it's going to go behind for a corner. Forward to Vinicius. Chance for Fulham. Good save, Melier. The problem with strike at left back is I don't know how much he's going to get forward. But Bamford here. Going to go for a strike. Bamford. Good save by Leno. Whipped in. It's headed out. Oh, Sinistera's won it back though. There's a chance for us here. If we can play this right. Across goal. Oh, it's saved by their keeper again. Harrison. Jack Harrison gets past his man. He goes again, he's going to pull it across, goal! Oh, it's another good shot and another good save down low by Leno. Behind for a corner. We're going to go for a different corner here. It's a little dink ball to the back post. Oh, it nearly worked as well. Bamford very nearly squeezing it in at his near post. Dakot over Reed has the pace. Plays it into a dangerous area. Andreas Pereira, good save. By Melia on the stroke of half time. Fulham will have a corner before this whistle goes. Willian tries to close down against Strike in his new left back role for today. Puts in a. Oh, it's a lovely delivery! Oh, the flick on header is nearly. Oh, he's got pace on Mbabu apparently, but Mbabu gets back and defends well. It's come all the way through to Pereira. Ball over the top. Get there, Melia. Good. Crystal Palace 1, Wolves 2 is a score. Over the top for Bamford. Ooh, nearly. Nearly would have been special. So we're going to stay on commentary for this final set, six or seven minutes, whatever, uh, to see if there's going to be a late winner. Because is it going to be two nil-nil draws in a row? Oh, Christensen has gone just too far. Wouldn't have been a bad ball in, but it was just too late. Somerville is going to come on now for uh, Sinistera. Four minutes plus added time. It would be a vital three points if um, one could be turned in for three to three for either team, really. Hopefully it would be us. Oh, poor tackle. But we've got the ball. It's going to be an advantage to us. Aronson has it. Pull it back. Oh, it's going to be up for a corner. 
Come on, the Leeds fans need to jeer us on now. Greenwood's going to come on for Aronson for these final couple of minutes. May just be one attack that he's coming on for now. Super sub, potentially. He's whipped into the area. It's cleared out by Fulham. Dan James is never going to win that header over Tyler Adams. Harrison whips it in. Oh, it's a cracking delivery. And we might still have a chance. Go on. No. Bounce. Ah. Oh. Well, it finishes 0-0. Considering we got a draw against Spurs, I'll also take this draw against Fulham. So it's two points in two games. Two clean sheets. But on the other hand, we haven't scored in 180 minutes. So is that a worrying sign or is that just a little, a little blip? We'll need to score against Wolves to make sure. But hopefully it's nothing too serious and we can just go and score against Wolves. I'll see you back in the main menu. So I'm back in the hub after that Fulham game. And I've just been doing some development plans. And what I've been doing, I've found Sam Greenwood. And I've decided to convert him to a right midfielder. As I seem to be like playing him on the right a bit as rotation with Jack Harrison. And that's what I've been doing recently. So I just thought I'd share that with you. So I've got Greenwood on a development plan. I've also got Melier on a development plan in order... If I can find him, let's sort by position. Melia on a development plan to get his weak foot up. Uh, that'll be a one week. And also, as you can see, I want to make him a bit more rounded. So you can see diving and reflexes are already in the 80s. But the other three that we're currently training are still in the 70s. So if we get them up and get his weak foot up to five star, then that should make him a very nice, well-rounded keeper. Hopefully cut out some of them mistakes as well. Uh, so those are the two that I've done. Uh, if I do any more big ones like not the young kids but the big ones um then i'll let you know otherwise i'll see you at the wolves game so we've decided not to put any new development plans on really anyone so we're at the wolves game now and i'll go show you the team that we're going to put out and we'll get into it well i've decided to make two changes from that nil nil draw with fulham because uh well it's actually three changes but because we need to change, make a change up front, I think. Bamford can stay up front because he's not been too bad. But Rodrigo comes in for Aronson, who is out of form. Rocker in midfield ahead of Varela for this one. And Firpo comes back in after his suspension. Sorry, four changes, in fact, because Harrison as well makes way... Uh, sorry, it comes in for Greenwood. Uh, so that's the team we're going to put out. Hopefully, it's enough to get us the win against the Wolves. So we'll get into the game and we'll see. There's a chance for them. Oh, it's deflected. Ooh. Deflected straight back to, I think, is it Matthias Nunes there. But it's wide. Luckily for us, three minutes in. Matthias Nunes infield for Ruben Neves. He's not moved on yet to a bigger club. Sticking with Wolves for this season at least. Semedo. Guedes. Chance for Wolves. Good save. Rebound is in. Of course, the rebound's in. It's all... I keep conceding at the moment. It's rebound after rebound. And Guedes goes to celebrate with Lu Julian Lopetegui. Yamatino's there as well. Collins too. You can see what that goal means to Wolves. I didn't check where they are in the table. I think they're a little bit above us. Maybe a few points ahead of us. So this is still a big game. Because it could decide places come the end of the season. So... We really do need a result in this one. At least a draw from now on. Um, but we fall behind. 30 minutes in. Well, there has been a goal in this episode for you guys, luckily. But it is a rebound. It's not exactly a world-class goal. And it's wide. Harrison. Oh, just wide from Rodrigo there. Oh. Venomous effort as we approach half time. Arma Triare out to Semedo. Plays it through for Guedes. Good save by Melier. If you weren't there, it would have been two. But so many times this season he's got us out of trouble, and there's another example of that. Sinistera. Rocker. Come on, Rocker. Rocker's got a chance. Oh, it's a good save by Jose Sa, and it's going to go out for a corner. Here comes Adama. 
somehow we've not won it back but we have now Sinistera Bamford through to Rodrigo he's about to be subbed off but could he get a goal for us yes he can Leeds one Wolves one <laughs> I'm actually so surprised because it's our first goal of the episode and I'm so delighted that we finally broke the duck it's the goal for Rodrigo and he's about to be subbed off as, subbed off as well so I feel a little bit sorry for him but it was a lovely little pass by Bamford to send him through and the subs do come on now now we've got 15 minutes we won't be going ultra attacking now we've got that goal uh, will it stay 1-1 or will there be a late winner here come Wolves Matinho now Traore good shot straight down Melies throat low Guedes forward to Traore he's going to pass it out wide no he's not he's going to continue his run it's a smart move because it's come to Guedes and that was very nearly a goal so we are going to stay on commentary for these final few minutes here five minutes to go Wolves good shot saved by Melier Brendan Aronson I'm not going to bring him on for Sinistera he's out of form I don't want him to mess an opportunity up with his lack of composure of late here we go Adama uh oh uh oh good get it out switched it across to Christensen could it be three draws in the episode and three draws in a row Greenwood oh here we go and get the winner that would, would be a handball if I had handball switched on uh, but I don't and oh there's still a chance for us if we can play this right where referee come on we're about to play a pass through there and Furpo would be one on one but that is full time we'll have to live with it so it's three points in three games so three points in this episode as well three draws unbeaten but also winless so mixed emotions here really we've got one goal we've conceded one goal we've just matched our opponents stride for stride in almost every department for the last three games but Spurs Fulham and Wolves I'll take three points and I'll see you back in the hub so we're coming to the end of the episode but before we do end this off I'm just going to show you the league table here so it's looking promising for us although there's a couple of games in hand for a couple of teams that you may, I mean you think if they can get a win then it's still going to make it nervy for, for us going into the last uh, going in for the running of the season um, so Southampton with two games in hand over us and Bournemouth, Brentford, Everton and Palace uh, all with one but we are currently seven points ahead of Brentford in the relegation zone so we're looking comfortable at the moment Wolves there if we'd beaten Wolves we'd have gone above them so that's a shame that's a bit of a shame that we didn't get the win there but uh, we'll have to deal with it uh, Manchester United having a shocking season they're down in ninth although to be fair they're only five points off a Champions League spot with a couple of games in hand I mean a Europa League spot with a couple of games in hand so it couldn't be it's not actually that shocking if you look at it in more detail the table oh, they're still going at Hammer and Tongs here 10 games to go for each of Manchester City Spurs Arsenal and Liverpool as well if you want to include them in the title race but I reckon it'll go to either Manchester City or Spurs this season City edgy on goal difference at the moment they're eight ahead of Spurs in that department but they are level on points both got 65 it's going to come down to who wants it more at the end of the day uh, so that's the table the middle of the table looking a little bit more spread out but the middle of the table is the less entertaining bit we ought to be down here or up at the top to look at the entertainment come the end of the season so that's about it for this episode we're going to sim up to the next game just to see if we get any important emails basically um we're looking like we're getting some through. We've got a chat from Adams. Oh, but we're up to the Crystal Palace game now on the first of the month. So we've got that youth scout report. And we'll have another set of players to look at in the next episode. Oh, Tyler Adams, the designated captain at the moment uh, from the starting eleven, Saying the club's a little bit concerned or the lads are a little bit concerned with the club. Uh, I'll say thanks for letting me know. 
and all I can do is try and is try and do all right. But I'm doing a reasonable job there, to be fair. So um, we'll have to finish mid table. That's that's the main objective. So they'll be happy if we finish mid table, I reckon. So we've got to play Crystal Palace next episode, as well as basically lots of other games. So I think we'll play the three games down here. I don't think we should play the Manchester United game and the Chelsea game. I don't know though. I'll leave it until next episode to decide. But I feel like the important games are the Bournemouth, Southampton and Crystal Palace ones. So I feel like they're more important to play. But obviously if we want to see a derby against United or Chelsea, um, then I'm happy to do that as well. But I'll have a think... And before I record the next episode, I will, well, I'll decide before then. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed it, go down below, smash the like, smash the subscribe, or the dislike if you really want. Um, but I've been Hazard Junior Cherry, and I'll see you in the next one for episode 9 and April. <laughs>